Good morning! Thanks for joining me. It's another weekend in New York City and we have so many plans, but first of all, we need to go to the park and walk somebody. After that, well, we'll see after that. Let's go do the most important thing first. We're back now from the park and we're going to the gym for a yoga class that I always do. I love this yoga class. It's very, I don't know, it's almost boot campy, but also kind of culty. I can't explain. It's a really good workout, but there is also a big portion of it is some sort of meditation and it's a longer class. It's 75 minutes. So it's kind of a commitment, but I also enjoy it and I do this one once a week. And after that, I probably won't have time to record anything until we head downtown. I need to come home, change, shower, all that. And then we're going to Chinatown because today is the Lunar New Year. And yeah, the year of the dragon. I am not exactly sure what's happening. I know it's some kind of celebration ceremony. It's not the parade. The parade will be in a few weeks. And this one, I'm just unsure about timing. It says it's from, I think, 11 to 3.30. We'll be late because we're going to the gym first. I think we'll get there by maybe 1 o'clock. So hopefully something is still happening till 3.30 as listed. But if not, I guess we'll see. We'll figure it out as we go. Right now we're going to yoga. Yoga was great as always, and then we quickly ran home, showered, changed, and headed downtown for the Firecracker Festival. It is the Lunar New Year, the year of the dragon, like I already said, and I was really excited to see how New York City is celebrating it this year. There is another celebration in a few weeks, and I'll definitely try to go to that. That one is the big parade that everyone always tries to visit so I expect it to be even more crowded but today even though we got there by I would say about 1 or 2 p.m maybe 1 30 the official ceremony was over it still was really crowded and there were still people in a crowd just shooting their poppers confetti everywhere some kids burning confetti on the ground overall very exciting even though there wasn't any particular big event that we attended and unfortunately I didn't see any dragons or lion dances but let's hope we get to see that in a few weeks. Then because the festivities were over so early, we were not due for our dinner reservation for a few hours. But luckily, there are a lot of art galleries in that area. Again, they're all free to visit. And because it's Saturday, they're open. Many of them are closed on Sunday, but Saturday is always such a good day to visit art galleries. So we popped around here and there and visited a few that we actually haven't been to since I want to say last spring, maybe about the same time. A lot of the galleries are located in walk-up buildings and you often have to climb stairs to the fourth floor, fifth floor, 
to see art that you are not sure actually what they're going to be displaying there. So there is always an element of surprise and discovery and that is what I like about it. You never know what you're going to see, especially if you don't research before you go and just walk around like we did. It's finally dinner time and for dinner we're going to Lur Fish Bar in Soho. It's a very well-known fish restaurant in New York and inside it looks like a yacht. So you're sitting in this very interesting interior and we got a bunch of different things to try and to share. Of course, oysters, then some crispy rice, salad, different kinds of fish and a lobster roll. I wouldn't say that food was exceptional, everything was pretty good, but I'm also hard to impress, so it is what it is. The weather was so nice and spring-like when we got out of dinner, so we decided to take a little walk. And then on our way, we saw this new store that recently opened in New York called yeah. Begman's which is huge for Manhattan. We had to check it out. It was so gigantic. So tired, what a long day. Just got home and I'm super tired, really tired. Very tired. Are you tired? I'm very really tired too. Yeah, very tired. But I think I'm gonna try at least one of the strawberries before we go to bed. And then we can go to bed. I'm not even sure we can go to the gym tomorrow. I, I have a so. suspicion that we run out of energy, but we'll see what happens. Let's try it. Let's try the berries. It looks like there are all kinds of brands like this now that package them similarly and then say that they're super sweet. These are sweetest Korean berries and it's some kind of different brand than the one I've seen lately in other stores. Okay. Mm. Actually, it does smell very strongly of strawberry. Let's wash it and try it. Mm. So juicy. Mm. Nah, it's still sour. I wouldn't say it's really sweet. It's really juicy and it smells like it would be a super delicious sweet strawberry, but it's okay. It's normal. Let's see what Ben thinks about this. <laughs> it's very tasty. It's sweet. Is it? I liked it. It was okay, juicy. Sure. Well, juicy and sweet are two different things. Okay, let's try another one. Maybe this giant one. Okay. We're gonna try another one. Yeah, I think it's juicy. It kind of has like a peach taste. Peach? Yeah, maybe. We've been up for and running, right? For 12 hours at this point. I'm exhausted. Yeah. We can get up. We can get up. Good night. Good morning. Walkie walkies. So great today, I'm really tired, but we have another dinner to go to later, so we're discussing what we're gonna have. Yesterday was a lot of fish, so today we're thinking trying some other kinds of meat and maybe even veggies, but Ben says that he had enough fish for a while now. <laughs> Winter sun. Come, 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 come! Yay! Okay. It's VIP shuttle time. <laughs> the walk was pretty short. Even Kojik doesn't feel like walking today. 
getting ready to go out for that dinner soon and I want to I know surprising right it's not black I got a skirt in a light color so I want to wear this but oops it's hard to show you with one hand but it has a really high slit for me and for winter outside it's still pretty cold so I will try to bring it down a little bit quick um, and yeah we're heading out soon slits everywhere I don't have the exact color to match this skirt, but I'll try to do it all on the inside. Sometimes it's hard to just do something in silence and be left alone with my own thoughts, so I prefer to listen to someone else chatter. You can see it's pretty big slit. I'm trying to cut it down to maybe at least here so it's still okay to walk but it doesn't open quite as high. So I was gonna wear a white sweater but I got so hot that I ended up with the black top again. <laughs> But at least the bottom is light, right? <laughs> you want to document how pissed I am with MTA? It was ridiculous. None of the trains were running. And then they kept saying that the next one is in 20 minutes. And then it comes, we'll board. And then they tell us it's not going where it's supposed to go. So we'll deboard and wait for another one. And now I have to rush. And I hate rushing, so yeah. Um, we'll get there though. So far, it's been a very right? scrambling experience, and like that. Yeah. I'm not in my walking shoes either. Yeah, we'll, we'll make it though. Yeah! <laughs> and on that note, we're going. And tonight we're having dinner at Faul, which it's a new Italian restaurant that opened last year in the East Village. Its founder is also the owner of the Roberta's Pizza Place in Brooklyn that's pretty famous. I would say food-wise, it was much more interesting than the night before. However, it's also a smaller place and you definitely hear all the tables nearby having loud conversations, especially if they're in Russian. <laughs> Very cold. It suddenly became cold. <laughs> On the way home, but did you like it? It was very good. Thank you. <laughs> it was very good. It was very big. It was a lot of food, but it was all really good. So, worth it. And now we're in the cold. We'll see. Okay.